Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Snails, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's resume our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, fascia, tendons, cartilages, bones. Today, it's time to talk about joints, the science of arthrology. As you know, the joint is a communication between two bones. This is called the articulating surface of the bone because it will articulate with the second bone. Let's get started. I try not to just make videos, but make playlists that have an order to get the most understanding and retention. Please watch them in order. Arthrology. Ology means the study of. Arthro means joints. This also studies ligaments as well. But actually, arthro does not just mean joint. It means to articulate, to communicate. Even the laryngeal cartilages and muscles help me articulate, i.e. talk and communicate. That's why a disease that hinders my ability to articulate is termed dysarthria, difficulty talking, which could be a sign of a stroke. Joints, the definition, the meeting or joining of two or more bones of the skeleton. Types of joints or classification according to the nature of the tissue between the articular bones. We have three types of joints, fibrous joints, fibrocartilaginous joints, or simply cartilaginous joints, and finally, synovial joints. Fibrous joints permit no movement, cartilaginous joint will give you limited movement, and synovial joints will give you the widest of movement. What's here in the joint? Synovial fluid. What do you call the membrane that makes the synovial fluid? We call it synovial membrane, and it lines the inside of this pink joint capsule. It doesn't have to be pink, by the way. But where do joints come from? Do you remember embryology? Yeah, ovum and sperm, boom, zygote, and then divide, 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 morula, and then blastula, or blastocyst. Then you get implanted into the posterior aspect of the uterus near the fundus. After that, you are the bilaminar embryo, and before you know it, you are three layers, trilaminar embryo, endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. Ectoderm is for the epidermis of your skin and your nervous system. Endoderm is for the endothelium that lines your gut and your respiratory system, etc. Mesoderm is in between. Meso between. What's in between? My gut and the epidermis of the skin on my back. Well, almost everything. We have bones, we have cartilages, we have tendons, we have ligaments, we have muscles, we have blood, we have lymph. Since joints are articulation between two bones, therefore joints belong to the group of the mesoderm. So I will not say that joints are mesodermal, I will say that the bones that constitute a joint are mesodermal. How about the cartilages? Mesodermal. Ligaments and tendons around the joint? Mesodermal in origin. And don't forget your joints are highly vascular. That's why septic arthritis, a bad infection in my knee, for example, can spread to the rest of my body very quickly and kill me. That's my mesoderm right here. Pause and review. Here is one bone, here is the second bone. Between them there is joint, filled with synovial fluid. And then the bone articulates with the bone via the articular surface, usually covered by articular cartilage. Most of the time it is synovial cartilage. If you remember my previous video on bursae, also you will find it here in this anatomy playlist, bursa was a protrusion of the synovial membrane to the outside of the confinements of the joint. Out Outside the joint capsule. This right here is a bursa. This is the joint capsule, here and here. Inside the joint capsule, look at this thin synovial membrane lining the joint capsule. The joint is filled with synovial fluid, and here we have the articular surface of the first bone, which usually has articular cartilage, and the articular surface of the second bone, also covered with articular cartilage. Where do you find synovial fluid? In the joint capsule, also in the bursa, and in the tendon sheath. Let's review types of bones, types of cartilages, and types of joints. First types of bones, there are gazillion types depending on how you classify them, based on their position, axial or appendicular. Axial is something like your vertebral column. Appendicular is something like your radius and ulna. According to structure, we have compact bone and cancellous bone. 
according to development, intramembranous, and intracartilaginous. According to the shape of the bone, we have long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones, and sesamoid bones. All of these were discussed in previous videos in this anatomy playlist. Let's review one classification, compact bone versus spongy bone, depending on their structure. Compact is the same as cortical. Spongy is the same as trabecular or cancellous. For example, the outer shell of the bone is usually compact. The inner part is usually spongy. Moreover, the diaphysis or the shaft has more compact, but the epiphysis has more spongy. Why? Because it needs to be less hard and slightly more flexible in order to articulate with the next bone at the joint, the arthro. Types of cartilages, hyaline cartilage, fibrocartilage, and yellow or elastic cartilage. Don't forget SOX9. We talked about the different types of cartilages in previous videos. Just remember that the cartilages at the articular surface are hyaline cartilage, glassy and translucent. Who makes cartilages? Chondroblasts. How about who makes bones? Osteoblasts. We're done with bones, cartilages, let's talk about the types of joints. Fibrous joints, fibrocartilaginous joints, and synovial joints. Fibrous joints, minimal or no movement, such as the sutures of your skull. Fibrocartilaginous or simply cartilaginous joints, limited movement, such as the symphysis pubis, intervertebral discs in your spine, costochondral junction, and sacroiliac joint. Costochondral is between the rib as a bone and the cartilage attached to the rib known as costal cartilage. Sacroiliac joint is between your sacrum as a bone and your ilium as a bone. That's the back of your hip. Synovial joints, the widest movement possible. Most extremities have synovial joints. For example, how about your femur? How about your humerus? Your femur articulates with the hip bone and your humerus communicates with your scapula. All of these are synovial joints. Costovertebral, not costochondral, but costovertebral, between the rib and the spine of your back. Temporomandibular joint, the famous or infamous TMJ, is a synovial joint. That's why patients with rheumatoid arthritis, a condition characterized by synovitis, commonly complain of temporomandibular joint issues. Also, the joint between the atlas and the axis in the cervical vertebra are synovial. That's why patients with rheumatoid arthritis can have what? Atlantoaxial subluxation. Medicine makes so much sense once you understand what the flip you're talking about. The basics are very important. Let me correct a mistake that I've made before. In previous videos, I've told you that sacroiliac joints are cartilaginous. Not true. In fact, sacroiliac joints are here. They are synovial joints. That's why diseases that are characterized by synovitis, like inflammatory arthritis, like the HLA-B27 arthropathies can have what? Sacroiliitis, inflammation of the sacroiliac joint. So it is synovial. Now to the clinic. Inflammation of the tendon is called tendinitis, of the fascia, fasciitis, of muscles, myositis, of bones, ostitis, of bursa, bursitis, of the attachment of tendon to bone, here, enthesitis, so this is inflammation of the site of attachment of tendon or ligament into a bone. How about inflammation of cartilage? Chondritis. How about inflammation of joints? Arthritis. Like osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, gouty arthritis, systemic lupus erythematosus arthritis, and many more. In the upcoming videos in this anatomy playlist, we have a video on the fibrous joints alone. We have a video on the cartilaginous joints and a third video on the synovial joints. I have a playlist on my YouTube channel titled Rheumatology, which can teach you about many of these arthritides, which is a plural of arthritis. Learning is fun.
And if you want to take it to the next level by learning about some orthopedic surgical topics, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectsnellis.com. And quiz yourself with 100 questions and answers in the last video, which I call Medicosis Couch Potato, because you're allowed to sleep on the couch and listen to Medicosis and try to guess the answer quickly and accurately a hundred times. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.